Removing the rear panel on the iPod Classic is the most difficult step out of all of these, um, so take your time and be careful so you don't damage your iPod. Insert two safe open tools in the seam between the front and the rear panel. Insert your putty knife in the seam between the front and rear panels. Work the putty knife along the edge releasing the clips of the rear panel. Repeat this process for the other side, but don't fully remove the rear panel when all the clips are released because it's still connected via the headphone jack and the battery cables. Using your mini flathead screwdriver, carefully lift up on the black tab securing the battery cable to the logic board and then remove that cable from the logic board. With your safe open tool, lift the black tab holding the ZIF cable to the hard drive and then remove the hard drive from the iPod. Lift the brown clip holding the headphone jack cable to the logic board and then remove that cable from the board. Remove the six Phillips screws from the frame. There are three screws located on each side of the frame. To separate the front panel from the frame and logic board, press down on the click wheel while pulling up on the front panel. Remove the two Phillips screws located on the front side of the logic board. To disconnect the LCD cable from the logic board, lift up on the black tab and then carefully remove the LCD along with the metal backing from the frame and board.